Hey guys, welcome back. I am making a After the Sun Goat's Milk Soap, and this has got olive leaf powder in it. Here you see me um, mixing in the olive leaf powder. It actually wasn't really hard. Um, it worked pretty well. I need to actually get a a better stick blender than the one I have. This is probably better for mixing like micas and stuff and you can see the bubbles and I had to spray to uh, keep it down. So I'm just adding it back into my main mixture of my goat's milk uh, base. So I really wanted to make this soap this summer because olive leaf is really great for dry skin and after the after you go to the pool or the beach or just outside and it's got tons of antioxidants and it's great for sunburn skin it's great for insect bites oh there you see me see I added I actually kept that splash in because um you know I wanted you guys to see that I'm not perfect when I'm editing this stuff and that's the kind of things that happen so Anyway, I'm, I'm sure it's happened to a lot of you guys, too. But anyway, everything worked out. So that was pouring it and everything into the mold. And I'm cutting it. This turned out to be a really pretty soap. The powder is actually kind of a... It's actually, it's an olive green color. Um, but it came out like a pretty... Uh, actually like the color of sand and it has like little speckles and things in it and I really thought that was really pretty and it just gave a really natural look. This soap is unscented, um, of course, so I do a lot of unscented soaps, but it came out really nice. I really like it. So I hope you guys like it too and... I hope that you will get a chance to try it um, this summer. I'm going to be heading to Florida here in July, so I'm going to be taking a bar with me then. Um, so because you're always at the pool or at the beach. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this, and stay tuned for more videos, um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.